game. And when I say game, I mean G A I E. Let's go. Turn me up. Oh yeah, it finna get dark in here. It finna get dark, but we shine like a light. Turn my lights up. Gang. Turn my light up. Oh yeah, we finna go up. We finna go up. Everything I say is a legend. And you can find that in the Fair Use Act in the description of this video and all of my videos. This video is covered by the Fair Use Act. This video is for educational purposes only. For educational purposes only. And is used with no, I mean with no malicious intent. Only to educate my people on what we are covering in the daily news let's go turn my lights up turn my lights up gang let that like button sub to this pettiness and to my day ones y'all know i got y'all to the last day and to all my new subs and subscribers, let that like button sub to this pettiness. So when I get this litness, I can show y'all love with this pettiness. So when I get this litness, I can show y'all love this pettiness. Gang, you know I had to say it twice just to make it nice. Because we might have been born last night. But we stayed up all night. And gang, long live Dre B. Long live man, man. And long live the flipper man. Salute to the petty guy. Number one rule, guy. Don't forget to get your money. Number two rule, guy. Don't forget to show me some love. Yeah, lit that like button, spin that subscribe, keep your money and your loyalty. Just show me some love while we in the building. Key witness in the case. Everybody been asking me about Jamarcus. It's Friday night. 
and I take out back in, so I decide to spin. Okay. Jamarcus Johnson, key witness in the case. And when I say key witness guy, I mean the key witness in the case. See, we can all go back to Govan and TZ and Juke on whatever they said when they said how they said it. Take one with me, gang. Kenny Money. We gonna call these take a Kenny Money. Yeah, take a Kenny. Take a spin with us, gang. See, if y'all even go all the way back to remember. And if you remember, gang. And I say, when I say, do you remember? Even Jay Fizzle and Snoop Band made a video about Jamarcus. But nobody was really paying attention to Jamarcus. So we're going to break it down like a pound. And, you know, we're going to always keep it tough like we got them books. But we got to talk about Jamarcus, gang. We got to talk about Jamarcus. And when I say Jamarcus, I mean Jamarcus. Because see, Jamarcus is the one witness outside of the people that was there, outside of Go Bad, Scrape Drop, and a lot of people don't understand how and why he got to where he was at, gang. But we finna break it down like a pound. And it's finna kinda open up a lot of questions and doors on this case, gang. See, we gonna jump out of the internet and jump into our intellect. And that's what's finna cause a tornado effect. Guy turn my lights up. Jamarcus Jones. No face, no case. See, that's what we're gonna have a problem with. See, I always told y'all that real deal street ninjas. We live on no face, no case. But see, game in this case, some may not apply. And when I say that, I say this to say, gang. See, Jamarki Johnson is the half brother of Drop God. Half brother of Drop God. There go the family ties. So we know you got credibility of knowing him, being around him, or even sleeping or being in the same home as Drop God. So we know the credibility of what you might say when you say it, how you might say it when you say it. When you say whatever you say, we know. You a half brother. Meaning you share the same mother or the same father, but the same last name still remains. See, we're gonna break 
Jamark is down like a pound, gang. Okay? Because it's some missing pieces where the pieces got to be eventually put back together. So we know that you are real family tied to a drop. But see, when it gets to that point, we trying to figure out who told on Jamarcus. Think about it, guys. Who told on Jamarcus? Uh-oh, somebody better turn my lights up. Somebody better turn my lights up. I just got in and I decided to spin. Who told on Jamarcus? How did Jamarcus get in the case? How did Jamarcus get picked up by the case? Do we rewind and understand at what point in time did Jamarcus get picked up? Was it before? Was it after? Was it in between? Take a kid and money with me. Take a Kenny money with me. When and why was he put in the case? When did somebody tell on him to get him in the case? Because if you rewind game, he was never listed as a person of interest. He was never listed as a true La Mafia affiliate, Red Gang affiliate, CMG affiliate. Illy's affiliate is still to this day. He has not been in Miami with him or none of the above. So when and why was he put in this case? We know when, but we don't know why. We know when on the incident for so he say, but we don't know why he was called. We know when he entered the case in the courtroom and what he said, but we don't know why he ended up in the courtroom. Y'all better turn my light so it's finna get real dark in here. For some reason, we always gonna shine like a light, gang. Even in the darkest spots. Who told on Jamarcus? Because he really wasn't nowhere. When and why is he in the case? We know when for the court. When it says a man want to plead guilty, we know why he's in court, but still when and why? When did they know he was a part of it all? And why was he and why or who told on him? Oh yeah, we finna break this down like a pan. See, it's still a lot that y'all ain't paying attention to. He was the getaway man. No face, no case.
So we know you was the getaway man. Meaning that we know for sure, though, on the no-no, you said that you were called for a ride. We know you are the one that said that the clothes that he had on. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Why was he called, guy? Out of all the people that drunk could have called, why was he now involved in the case at the very last minute? Out of all the people to call for a ride, out of all the planning that they did, after you dropped the Mercedes off, this was the person out of everybody to reach out to. Somebody we had not seen around the case, through the case, on the case. But I think it all goes down. This is the person you call to pick you up. Let alone, we're going to get to this. Turn my lights up, gang. See, they're finna get real dark, gang. Because, see, if you only got him and Cornelius, we're gonna get to this. Take a kid of money with me, gang. Take a Kenny money with me. He told what drop had on. No face, no case, go out the door. And then where it gets sticky. Because see, it is said that the getaway car and that he identified drop with being having on the same clothes the next day. Or was it the same day? See, that's when the getaway man kind of plays a very tricky part in this play. Because if I'm not mistaken, it was said that he seen drop or got in touch with drop the very next day and he still had on the same clothes as in the video. So now we know that's how they know who was who inside of the video. Turn my lights off. Cause see this finna get so deep, y'all just I just man I I'm, I broke the internet. So if you to get away, man, it is even said that you was one of the men that allegedly played a role in even talking to the probation officer 
and plan like you would drop. So with that being said, if you was the getaway man and you was the one that called, was it the second day you seen him with the clothes on? Or was it the day that you picked him up? And see, this would just get very tricky, guys. See, there's so many holes left and y'all wonder why it's a pushback from the other side. We agreed to the pushback, guys. But y'all ain't understanding that the pushback really ain't that. See, them routes sacked and packed. If you only knew all of the players that ain't even been played yet. Because, see, if you go back and you really, really think about it, game. If he identified a drop with the clothes on the next day, how was he the getaway man for that day? And if he was the getaway man, getaway man for that day for straight drop, why the all people that all of this plan that happened was he involved if he really wasn't involved? Why would you involve him? If you already had all of these major players and all of this money around to get around. Because see, he told what drop had on. But why is it only... Why is it only... Two people, two people arrested for this case. See if you break it down like a pound game, you really understand that if he gave straight drop a ride that day after that day, he had to get Cornelius a ride. Because it ain't no way that they taking two different rides at the heat of a moment when they need a ride. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if you see Scrape drop that next day, and you're verifying that he had the same clothes on that next day, Nine times out of ten, that next day, Cornelius either had the same clothes on or somewhere around the area as well. See, if you Ricky Ricky rewind us and if he say, then, man, turn my lights up. Cause this is how this get deep. And it's all different intellect, not the internet. All was already said in the courtroom, around the courtroom. And around the eye. Cause see, this finna get dark, gang. Because if we gonna go with his story being the next day, let's play the scenario out around the time that Dolph would have got missing. The route we knew where they took the Mercedes. And why that area now is so unimportant. Because if we go with Jamarcus story on him being the getaway man, telling on what drop had on, then the next day, if you go ahead on and put two and two together per se, A.O.G.G. was shot at that house. 
And I'm finna break the internet. AOGG was shot at that house. That white Benz was found at that house. Somebody is no longer here, they say, not for what happened at that house or some around that house or whatever, but he is not here for allegedly telling the white beans was in that house. Y'all kiss me? Kenny Money said, AOGG, I don't see now. Up outside, ain't nobody inside the house. See, y'all just ain't paying attention. See, meaning that if we go by Jamarcus' story, that he seen them the next day. And if we part the Massey Day in the back and then nobody know, and being go bad, kind of boom, 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 being earned out his neighborhood, moving house to house. Nine times out of ten game, we stayed in the house that whole day and that whole night. Why is it just because the Mercedes was there, gang? Do you see the videos that were shot at the house? Do you see that straight drop them been hanging at that house? So you don't think they not been inside? Man, turn my lights. Turn my lights. Oh. See, if I seen y'all the next day and I picked y'all up the next day or I picked you up the next day and allegedly you already had on the same clothes as the day before, either you spent a couple nights in some of them houses up in there or in that exact house that night. You, Cornelius, and whoever else pulled up or left. You call me the next morning, I pick you up, you still got on the same clothes. I don't know if Cornelius got in the car with you because you didn't say nothing about Cornelius. See, y'all ain't paying attention. Y'all ain't paying attention. Never said nothing about cornbread. It was all drop. So cornbread had already been either caught another ride or already separated, which is still another witness. So more people that help him get away. Take a kid of money with me, guy. So why was it only two people in the case locked up? Why is he only telling when he seen scrape dropping and that he was getting scrape drop away? So at this point, gang, we still got some more digging to do because who got Cornelius away? Or was Cornelius with drop? But we only heard what he said about drop. He 
also told about um and the money. But why is he not in none of the pictures with Trula, Bread Gang, Eight Gang, Splat Gang, CMG, Endless, Ma, Paper Route, Any of the above before the case or through the case. So why is he being so involved after the case with all of the planning that was supposed to went on? And if he just now becoming a witness, a character in the case because everything just ain't cased the way it's supposed to be casing or planning. How the hell he already know who Unk is? That means he already had to be around Unk. He already had to know Unk. Like, why would Unk trust him to give some money to See, I told y'all, y'all ain't paying attention because, see, one thing about how do screech go game. If a it was all ready to be paid for, planned out, or whatever, we don't care what you think you can't do a high bagged up. We not finna give no money to nobody else that we don't trust that ain't in the situation. Man, first off, he wouldn't have never knew about no unk, bro. Like, ain't no way he in this case. Like, ring, 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 collect call from Space Drop. Yeah, what up, unk? I need you to get that to my brother. Boy, I don't know what you talking about, but plan B. Ain't no baby. We got her a plan B. Ain't no baby. Weezy L, baby. Yeah. Ain't no baby plan B. Ain't no baby, man. I hit her last night, man. I'm telling you. She woke up. She say, man, plan B legal. I say, baby, I got plan B. I don't even know who Unk is. Click. See, this don't make sense. Because, see, if you was never around the case, through the case, but identify him in the case, Unk wouldn't have never let you know who he was, that you had to get any money from him, or none of the above. And then if we are missing it, Unk is still trying to wait for a trial, Unk already got to be apprehended, meaning Govain. But it's crazy that you're standing right there beside Govain. Because he Unk still out there. Unless you're talking about Govain, who they not say is the mastermind. Now, if you saying that he is the Unk, and Unk has got the money, the money still got to come from somewhere else. That's why I say, we can speculate on Unk, is it a real name, fake name, or is it just something you say from a hood ninja that you would look up to like Govain, being straight drop little brother you would call him Unk. I supposed to be getting the money from Unk. But then if you're supposed to be getting the money from Govain, Govain ain't gonna just say he the one that gave out the money for it. So if it is that, that would explain some of the speculations of Big Jim.
Y'all thought I was froze. Or either big joke being, huh? Y'all, y'all gotta pay attention, gang. It's so much still to be uncooked. So many players, y'all just ain't paying attention. I'm giving you clues. It's a whole lot of blues. Their house is major in so many ways. Because like I said, if you seen him the next day or picked him up the next day, where did you pick him up from? And we still have weapons. That may have been recovered or may not. See, the news ain't show if they went inside the house, gang. Why would not they go inside the house or go through the house if a stolen accessory to an M car is found in the yard? Hell, yeah, the internet so smart, they found out who housed the name and who stayed there and all that. So you don't think they did all that? Know that he got a position. See, we know he put in a petition. The judge didn't show. But they never said what the petition was for. What could he be petitioning? Can he be saying what he said ain't true? Can he be petitioning his sinners or whatever? But one thing we know, the reason why we are so comfortable, because of the fact that the matter is, nobody has pulled no kind of extensive paperwork on Jamarcus Johnson so far as his record. So the credibility and being a brother is so good. And you can't recant. You might can petition it, but you can't recant. You identify the same clothes. And that there was supposed to be some kind of money transaction. Now, what your petition may be for, who knows? But you made open public statement that there is a payment and that he had on those exact clothes. Eyewitness, main witness, no face, no case. Take all the time and evidence you need. If y'all need experts' opinions on this man basically saying that he was the one on the phone call faking that he was his brother, he was the one that picked him up and was notified of the same clothes and also notified that he's supposed to pick up some money from Unc. This shit open and close, man. Y'all gotta stop playing, man. I really ain't wanna go to the deep. Yeah, this shit open and close, gang. This your brother. He already done said what he said on national TV. There's no way that you can say that those ain't the same clothes if he said. 
There's no way you can say he didn't pick you up if he did. Wherever he picked you up from, and nine times out of ten, it was from that house. And he know in some kind of way, you told him to go pick up some kind of money from Unc for some alleged reason. Everything else the feds, Cam. Everything else the feds can wrap them all up. What was he promised? To get involved in the case and to snitch in the case. See, we know what you was offered by the state or whoever offered you whatever for the information that you told to get you out on bond. We know that somebody offered you something. But what did you supposed to receive For picking him up. Because see, it ain't no way, gang. And when I say no way, think about it. Brain, 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 brain. What up with you, bro? Chilling. Boy, you hot. Boy, they say, boy, I'm tech. Bro, come pick me up from the spot. Bro, I ain't got time, bro. Bro, come on, bro. I ain't trying to get involved, boy. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Because if you think about it, we ain't seen his face. Well, bro, I'm going to tell you like this, boy. Unk going to make sure you scrape, bro. Just come pick me up, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, what all I got to do, bro. Bro, I just need you to pick me up here, bro, and I need you to take me here, bro. And I'm good. Then if mama tell them, I'm leave you with my phone so if my probation officer call, you just tell them, you know, we woo the woo. Bro, you so aren't going to look out for me, bro. I ain't trying to go no jail, bro. You know me, bro. I ain't really with all that. Bro, aunt got you, bro. Where you at, bro? You know where we at, bro. Right over here at this spot, bro. Hurry up, bro. And I got hot, bro. They done drop these photos on into the second day, boy. I'm telling you, boy. Hey. Well, they done drop them photos. Because if you remember, the photos dropped the second day. When he say he picked him up, and he had on the same color. What did they offer him to, you know, pick him up and do what he did? What did they offer him to snitch? They got him petitioning, maybe. What did Unc offer him to make him be like, I told y'all I ain't want nothing to do with this. Like, y'all got me jammed. I ain't said that. Somebody just picked me up. Like, I ain't even really know how they knew who I was. I ain't even get my back in. So, you know, I supposed to been going to get it from off, but I ain't never go. And if you heard, he say, I was supposed to. Jamarcus Johnson finally made the boat with so many unanswered questions, but so many questions answered. So many players still playing. A whole lot of scratching off still yet to do. Gang, when I tell y'all, 
it's people that ain't even been brought up three years later. Trying to buy me a scratch off. But did um know about him? Did Govan know that Kuni was the one that was supposed to go? Did Govan know that Jamarcus was the one that did the pick up? See, y'all gotta think, man. Y'all really gotta think. I can only say so much, gang. I can only say so much. Until the last day. Until the very last day. Long live the flip of mine. Long live Big Step of Mo 3. Mo 3 day. Miss a real ninja through that Mo 3. And salute to the petty gang. And we yuck to. 